Okay, so make sure you have read this. Let's move on. Exercise 11. If statement. The Boolean expressions you used earlier allow us to ask questions, but in order to respond to those questions, we need to use an if statement. And here the image of the if statement shows us that that can be found in the control drawer. Okay. If statements usually go inside your draw loop because we want to check them each time the loop runs. So remember, the draw function is the draw loop. Okay. So they're saying if statements usually go in the draw loop. Do this. The race car program you wrote earlier is loaded here for you. Add an if statement after you update the position of the race car. Okay, uh, update is there, the comment that says update, so I guess they want us to put an if statement here. Yeah, I think that's where they want it. Move the Boolean expression from the console log statement to the condition of the if statement. Okay. Okay, this is the condition. I'm pretty sure this, yeah, this is the condition of the if statement. Inside the if statement, add a statement to draw text on the screen to say winner. Okay. So, in our drawing drawer, we go to text. Text. And we want to say winner. Uh, 0, 15. No, let's do 200, 200. 200, 200 should put it in the center of the screen. So uh, it looks like you want to left one of the parameters open. Okay, I think then we can, hmm, maybe we should copy this statement. So let's race car dot x, whoops, is less than finish line dot x. All right, now let's see. It looks like you, oh, there, okay. So hopefully winner will pop pop up here. Yep, okay, so the reason that was able to pop up is because we have this if statement. If the X position of the race car is less than the X position of the finish line, show this text, okay. All right, so that is it for exercise 11. Let's move on. Changing fruit. Now that we know how to use if statements, you can do more than just check if the apple has reached a scale of two. You turn it into a pair once it happens. Do this. Let's run it. Ah, uh, this again. Use a conditional in the draw loop to check whether fruit.scale is greater than two. If it is, change the fruit's animation to pair. Okay. So in the draw loop, let's add an if statement down here. If fruit.scale is greater than, key, key there is greater than, if fruit.scale is greater than 2, whoops, 2, okay. If it is, change the fruit's animation to pair, okay. Then we're going to need the set animation. What's the name of the sprite? Fruit? Yes, fruit. Okay, fruit. Uh, fruit. Set animation to pear. Okay, so hopefully it starts out as an apple and turns into a pear. Is it? Yep, it worked. Okay, so the challenge. Can you also make the fruit stop growing once it turns into a pear? Um, let's see what the... Okay, so they... Okay, then. This, this might be a little tricky. We might want to use this over here. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I'm going to watch to see what this scale equals once it turns into a pear. Okay, about two. Okay. Then I'm going to say, I'm going to say fruit.scale 
equals 2. Maybe that's, that's what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking that because it's just a set amount. Let's see if that works. I could be wrong. Nice. It stopped growing. Awesome. Cool. So hopefully you understand why I did that. Okay, great. Now let's move on to the challenges. All right, cool. If you finish early, I do want you to try these. So let's try these. Visible. Sometimes it's useful to hide the image for a while and then show it again. You can do this using the visible property. Ah, uh, you see that pop? The visible property is a little different from other properties you have seen in the past. It is a Boolean value, either true, the sprite is visible, or false, the sprite is not visible. By default, visible is set to true. Do this. Make the balloon pop when it hits the edge of the game area. Add a conditional that checks to see whether the balloon has hit the edge. Use a watcher on balloon.scale to help you out. What does that mean? Okay, if you finish early, I do want you to try these challenges. But I have to record other videos, so let's move on.